hello friends and welcome to Quinta Maria this is my homestead channel today we're making a traditional Egyptian stew it's an okra and lamb stew it's really delicious and comforting in this cold uh, here I start with the lamb it's about two kilograms or roughly um, four pounds I remove excess fat and dice it into uh, cubes Sometimes you may want to cut it into bigger pieces, but I was in a hurry and wanted this to uh, ready for dinner because I was expecting guests. Okra can sometimes be notorious for sliminess or um, this unpleasant uh, substance that, that um, comes out uh, of the okra vegetable but today the technique that we're going to use is going to cut down the slimeness and basically uh, you rely on um, cooking it with uh, some something with uh, that has high acidity and we're going to use a uh, tomato sauce and lime juice so that is going to help a lot It's also important to remove excess water using paper towels because we're going to brown this lamb uh, before we start our stew. This helps uh, produce that umami flavor that you want to have uh, in, your, um, in your stew. Now uh, dice a large onion, yellow or white, whatever you have, into really small pieces. Um, I like to keep a bowl right nearby to collect the scraps for compost so just peel the onion and uh, cut it into small pieces uh, obviously my cutting technique is far from professional uh, you should have your uh, fingertips um, fold it a little bit uh, to avoid injury I'm not doing that I am working on it but it's a little hard for me and uh, just continue to uh, dice the, the, the onions and cut them into small pieces we want to make sure that there aren't any big pieces that are going to be annoying or unpleasant in our stew Now peel and smash a whole head of garlic. You know what, I wish I was this fast in reality, but <laughs> it's cool that I can do this uh, on video. So uh, a whole head of garlic, um, obviously it depends on how big your garlic is. So if you have like elephant garlic, uh, two or three uh, cloves would be okay. But this amount of garlic that you can uh, see on the video, In a hot pot, I uh, add two spoons of vegetable oil and the onions. We want the onions to become transparent. We just sauteing the onions. Then uh, we will add the um, uh, garlic to saute as well before we finally add the lamb to brown. Uh, here I sorry to notice that my pot is a little too small for the quantity I was cooking. So I will get another cooking uh, pot, a bigger one, and continue cooking there. Mm -hmm. 
browning your lamb adds this umami flavor to the recipe so I really recommend that you try to do um, take the time and and do this step every time you're making stew or caldo it's really worth it Our lamb is browning really really nicely so uh, I combine both quantities in the same pot I will use the big one um, and start adding the other ingredients so here I added one can of crushed tomato and one can of crushed tomato with chili to uh, the, the, the lamb, the onion, and the garlic. Notice that um, I haven't added any seasoning yet. Uh, this looked a little too light to me, so I, I added, um, I don't know what you call uh, these small uh, cubes, bouillon, or consomme to enrich the color a little bit more and I also added a can of tomato sauce but it's still too light. but no matter uh, now I cover the pot and let it simmer until the lamb is cooked when the lamb is tender when you test it with a fork this is the time to add your okra I added uh, a full bag of frozen okra and the juice of two limes salt and pepper to taste and your stew will be ready in about 10 minutes from now unfortunately I didn't take a picture of the finished product but basically it looks exactly like uh, uh, what you see now in the pot it smells divine it tastes so delicious it has very very little seasoning so you will be able to um, taste the lamb and, and and the sauce and the okra without the slimy uh, um, texture or, or anything that you may have experienced with okra before I believe that this is the best winter stew ever it's absolutely one of my favorites if you like this video please uh, like and subscribe to get notification of my uh, coming recipes thank you so much for spending the time with me and see you next time